Logix.com. Hope you're doing well. A street light is mounted on the top of a 15 foot pole. The man that is six foot walks away from the pole at a speed of four feet per second along a straight line. How fast is the tip of his shadow moving when he is 40 feet from the pole? Okay, okay, okay. We can do this. Uh, let's do blue, dry triangle. No, wrong kind of triangle. We want a right triangle. There we go. Okay. And we'll go with that. Okay. Now pen. I think I'll stick with blue. Okay. So here is our light pole. Nope, nope, nope. Just want the free draw. Free draw. Just erase those little mini triangles. Erase, erase, erase. Okay. And so we have, this is 15 feet. We have a guy. I'm going to draw him as a little line right here. It'll be six feet. And we can do better six feet than that. Six feet. Still inadequate. Six. There we go. We have... Mm -hmm. That's terrible. I'll do a real line. Oh, there we go. Draw a straight line. Come on, straight line. Close enough. Okay. So it. So then we'd have... This will be six feet, and this will be nine feet. So here's a picture. Similar triangles. Uh, we know the man, we're going to say he's at... 40 feet away, and his the tip of his shadow is, um, I guess, 40 plus X away. We'll call this D, though, just to keep a variable involved. So looking at this, we have a – do I have a yellow? Do I have yellow? I like yellow. We have light up here, shining down, top of the man, causes a shadow right here. So we're going to look at this in terms of similar triangles. So this is 9 over D. Equals, and then we're going to look at the big triangle, which is 15 over D plus X. Okay. And then cross multiplying things, we get 9D plus 9X equals 15D. 9X equals 6D. X equals 2 thirds D. And I just simplified the 6 over 9. Okay. So this is our formula for the relationship between x and d. So now if we want to find the change with respect to time, we'll take the derivative of both sides. So taking the derivative of the left side, we have derivative of x with respect to t, this is, just give us dx dt, equals 2 thirds, that's a constant, times the derivative of, I'm going to say d for distance with respect to t. I know it's kind of, the d of d is kind of weird, but bear with me. It's it's, it's okay. So what this is saying then is the change in X with respect to time equals two thirds the change of D with respect to time, how far away he is from the pole. And we know that is four feet per second. So at he is moving away from the pole at a constant speed of four feet per second. So this will be two thirds times four, four feet per second, which will be eight thirds. Nope, oh, too many. Eight thirds feet per second. And so what we have then is yep, this is how fast the tip of the shadow is moving faster than the man is walking. So to get the total, we will have to green. I do like green. We have to look at the derivative with respect to time of d plus x. And since we're just adding these together, this will be the derivative of d with respect to time plus the derivative of x with respect to time. So the first one, eh, purple. First one, we were already given this one. This is 4. And this one we found, which is 8 thirds. So we have 4, which is the same as 12 thirds. I'm just going to do that so I can combine fractions, plus 8 thirds. And this gives us 20 thirds. I should write it over here. I have plenty of space. 20 thirds feet per second. So the man's shadow, this whole shadow right here, the tip of it then will be advancing at eight at uh, 20 thirds feet per second. And so the way we do that, draw a picture, always draw a picture, leave similar triangles, create a formula, and then take that formula, which we created, which was x equals two thirds d, 
where D is the distance the man has walked, X is the how far ahead of the man the shadow is. Take the derivative of both respect to time, take what we got, plug in some numbers, and get the answer. Hope that helped. See you next time. Thank you.